Welcome ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is kind of go through the process of graphing a quadratic in vertex form. Now when graphing a quadratic in vertex form, the first thing you want to do is identify the transformations. So to do that, we kind of need to know what exactly vertex form is for a quadratic. So there's going to be our vertex form, and I'm not going to write them down because I have another video for this, but again, you know, A is going to tell us, you know, if it's positive, our graph opens up. If it's negative, our graph opens down. It's also going to tell us if we're going to be compressing or stretching the graph. H is going to tell us our horizontal translations of the graph, and K is going to tell us our vertical translations of the graph. If we're shifting the graph up or down, where H shifts the graph left or right. Um, the next thing is to identify and plot the vertex. So the nice thing about vertex form is our vertex is h comma k. Now notice again that's x opposite of h plus k. So it's x minus and then whatever x minus is of that value is going to be your h. Okay? It's not always negative h or just always think of it sometimes as the opposite of your h, whatever's inside your function. So you plot your vertex, and the nice thing about vertex form is if you don't have any compression, you know, A is 1 or negative 1, um, but then all you can simply do is just plot the points of the parent graph, which you should know, I don't want to go over, I have a video for the parent graph, but basically you go over 1, up 1, over 2, up 2, or sorry, over 2, up 4, over 3, up 9, right? Just look at the table of values for the parent graph, and you can just go ahead and plot those points. Now, it does sometimes get a little tricky when we have, now A is not a 1 or negative 1, and therefore we need to go ahead and determine what the next points are. So to do that, what we're usually going to do is just take your vertex and then just choose points to the left or to the right of your vertex and plug them into a table and evaluate them into your, uh, quad into your equation. Then you plug in the x values that you chose and then determine what the y value is. Then plot those two points. Now it's important if you only pick two points that are to one side of the axis symmetry, you can reflect them over on the other side of the axis symmetry. So therefore you are able to gr uh, graph the shape of the parabola. Um, the other thing too, which I forgot to mention, is remember when A is negative, that opens the graph down. So you know, whatever you're, if you're doing a table, your table will, will make sure you have that. But if you're um, doing the parent graph, make sure when A is negative, instead of doing the parent graph opening up, you'd make it opening down. But there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is just kind of your basics for how to graph a quadratic function in vertex form. Thanks.